Rhode Island's EMA director has been confirmed to the national level. Peter Gaynor was approved yesterday to become deputy administrator of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Our Pete Mangione sat down with Gaynor today to learn more about his new role and what happens next. It's new at 530. As REMA director Peter Gaynor prepares for his new role with FEMA, he says the state of Rhode Island is still in good hands. Soon to be FEMA deputy administrator, Peter Gaynor has been through his share of storms here in Rhode Island. Now with the entire country to cover, his future looks very busy, especially when you consider the past couple of years. Again, when you look back to last year's uh, storms, you look at, you know, Pat, this Michael this past week, uh, it is really evident that you know, people need to be prepared. So how will the new job compare to the old one? Well, it's all different scale, right? So, uh, you know, I had to scale up uh, moving from the local uh, city in Providence to the state, and I'm going to have to really scale up uh, moving from Rhode Island to the feds. Gaynor says he is proud of his team's work at REMA, which includes achieving national accreditation from the emergency management program. He's also hoping his temporary replacement will become permanent. Uh, Mark Pappas, who's been my deputy for the past three or four years, uh, will uh, be acting until the governor selects a, uh, a new director. Uh, I hope Mark is the, uh, the permanent director. He's uh, wholly capable and uh, he's been a great uh, teammate uh, to me and, uh, and to our partners in the state. Gaynor says the FEMA job is full time, so he will be living in Washington, D.C., but he won't be completely gone from Rhode Island. I'll still be here at times. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I think, uh, commute a little bit ba back and forth. Uh, I'll have a place down in D.C., but I don't think you really ever leave Rhode Island. You always come back. Gaynor says he's not exactly sure when his first day on the new job will be, but it will likely be within the next two weeks. I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.